So Nick, first, let's start off talking about the smoke in the operating room. I don't think many people even thought about smoke being in an operating room. How does this happen? Surgical smoke is incredibly harmful. Bottom line up front, it's burning flesh. Surgical smoke is a byproduct of cutting and cauterizing tissue during surgery, and there's over 150 different chemicals in surgical smoke, 16 of which are on the EPA priority pollutant list. So when you say it's dangerous, I mean, obviously that right there explains it's dangerous. What can it do to you? It can cause respiratory issues, potentially lung disease. Nurses, uh, also called perioperative nurses who work in the operating room, they are two times more likely to develop respiratory issues later in life than the general population because of surgical smoke. How disturbing. So you have something here that will actually show us what this surgical smoke looks like? Yes, so I think this is a very impactful demonstration because in the operating room, smoke will move at up to 40 miles an hour. So you'll never actually see smoke accumulate, but you're always gonna smell it because it's, it's burning flesh. It smells foul. Oh wow, you and, see the smoke right there coming up. And what you'll see here is that this box will begin to fill with smoke after just a few seconds. And if you think about the amount of smoke that a nurse could potentially be breathing in over the course of a six to eight hour day, four to five days a week, during a 20 to 30 year career, I mean, it's staggering. But I guess when you think of this kind of smoke, you're thinking, okay, this is just coming from a tool, this is coming from operating. It's not like it's coming from cigarettes. But there you are, guys actually compare it to cigarettes. We do. There are components or chemicals or carcinogenic or mutagenic components within surgical smoke that have been proven to be as dangerous as cigarette smoke. And smoke in the OR from just one day can be equivalent to smoking up to 27 cigarettes a day. Is it dangerous for the patient then too? Smoke's a cumulative effect, so it has a significant effect on the clinician. Wow. So when you're looking at all this, okay, so then people are going to say, how do we fix this? What have you guys come up with? So Stryker has a solution for surgical smoke. This is Stryker's Safe Air Smoke Evacuation Pencil. It looks a lot like a standard electrosurgical pencil that I was using in that box right there, except if you look here, there's a small port built in that if you attach this to a vacuum or some kind of smoke evacuation source, it'll evacuate the surgical smoke directly at the site before the clinicians in the room could breathe it in. So hopefully then that would actually get some of that smoke out of there as much as possible at least, fix the problem. Exactly, yes.